Tony, what is being sought to be argued is that whether such a demonetization can be done by exercising power under 24 or 26. Yes. Or whether it is necessary to have a separate statute yes. for that. According to Mr. Chidambaram, the earlier demonetizations were by a separate act of the parliament. Essentially for the executive, based upon several factors, which some of which may not even come in public domain, to take certain policy decisions immediately in an emergent situation. One of them can be terror funding. So, notice, as I already said, the government policy, the wisdom of the government is one aspect of the matter. We all always know where the Lakshman Rekha is. But the manner in which it is done, the procedure is something which can be examined. Mm. Which have also been tagged. Mm. But my suggestion, subject to your Lordship's approval and other side agreeing, for example, Mr. Divan has some individual issue mm. of one individual. Mm. But they can be taken care of on the administrative side with the RBI, bank, Ministry of Finance, etc., for which we may not waste the time of the constitution. But that can be one way of dealing. If everyone agrees, one of the individual issues can be sorted Wait out. Minute, if, according to you, the constitution issues do not arise for consideration. It yes. is, it is points of view of the academic or not. Well, of course, they are much well received, I don't say so. But uh, in my very humble uh, understanding of the matter, the sense today, since the notification has now gone beyond and there is an ordinance and the act has replaced the whole thing, unless the act is challenged in a proper perspective with, re with, with reference to context, and what happens today? What even should survive today? If the act is not under challenge, where is the question of going back for notifications? And I think it's essentially academic, an academic declaration which may have a large, large number of political implications. So the court would probably defer to, to, the, to the need for not entering into the kind of academic declaration. I would like to respond. Appears to be right. I would like to actually respond to that. But the distinction between an executive order or a statutory order under Section 26 and a demonetization statute. Maybe well drawn, but the question is today: What are we asking for a declaration? Declaration about that? No, no. What? What? what, what does it meet constitutional requirements? No, no. Well, Mr. Attorney, what is being sought to be argued is that whether such a demonetization can be done by exercising power under 24 or 26. Yes. Or whether it is necessary to have a separate statute yes. for that. According to Mr. Chidambaram, the earlier demonetizations were by a separate act of the parliament. If if the court were to ultimately hold on a. Per on, on uh, addressing these issues, yes. ultimately hold, yes, it requires an act of parliament and what kind of declaration that will be again a declaration since instead of this, you could no, have then, done that. No, no, but then that's the only, that's the only no, no, but, but, no, but if you hold so, is, you hold so, is at least in future, uh, this can be prevented. It, 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 it looks, it, it looks very attractive for a future, but what I'm trying to say is, but even then, it will be certainly in the wisdom of the parliament, the act has now been enacted. No, you may, the act, I'm sorry. You may not be able to undo something what has happened. That's right. That's and a close chapter. For the future, whether this same kind of power would, should be exercised or not. My only, my only uh, response is, would it, would it be in the nature of an advisory jurisdiction by the court in future, you would do that? It is said not I, I, I only suppose it would not. Your lawyers may not enter into an advisory is, jurisdiction. Strictly speaking, it may not be advisory. It, so, it, in so, a manner of speaking, so, it would be an advisory. We, we, we may not unsettle something, but we can always lay down a law. Yes. No. Provided you also striking down a law. If a law is being struck down, you lay down a law. But if your law is not going into striking down the notification, the question of laying down a law may not ordinarily arise. No. But I feel many it of the, a, a very, a very many, of the, many of the leading judgments of this court are advisory in nature. Subsequent, for a, yes, sir, for a also, number of reasons. For a number uh, of reasons. The like, event had. Uh, 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 your law, while adopting the submission, respectfully adopting the submission of the uh, uh, but essentially, it's for your lordships in order to take a call, whether to hear it on hear it on merits or otherwise. We have filed our reply long back, and we have an answer to each and every question raised. But this is not the occasion today to respond to them on merits, and therefore we are not responding. But I must tell your lordships, so far, whatever are the decisions rendered by your lordships on your lordship jurisdictional to interfere in the economic policy regime, the lordships have so far not examined it on the ground of proportionality. And the reason is very obvious. It is 
essentially for the executive based upon several factors which some of which may not even come in public domain to take certain policy decisions immediately in an emergent situation one of them can be terror funding so you know, these are the issues the you know, question is whether your lordship would like to go into it if my learned friend wants it for an hour or so to decide whether uh, the court should or not go into it not your lordship may may do so and but as the learned attorney general not i respectfully not uh, adopting the submission that it may perhaps eventually be not uh, all right we will we will hear understand what they are saying we may uh, and for you we will respond we will grant you time there is no problem or or you you uh, is it uh, are you saying that today let us not begin we will have it on some other day are you that, saying that, that that probably that would be desirable so uh, that we have also take stock of all the arguments advanced today we come back with so structured structured way of addressing the court otherwise otherwise it becomes a, it becomes ad hoc no no but then hearing. if we hear them today very well yes you will you will know what what is to be responded on the next date right? no difficulty about that uh, but i thought uh, some structured way of taking the time of the court and addressing the court we should probably organize our our hearing process we are not i don't think we have done it but then the, today's date was fixed with everybody's consent yes yes but of course attorney was not there last last year in we know yeah, that yes, i i i my privilege to address the court today on this very important brother ram 28 no repetitions of individual cases were considered by the constitution bench for the good reasons kindly turn to page 109 of the order judgment of the constitution bench there was an appellate provision under the act appeals were filed appeals were rejected that after they came to the court therefore they were heard again so it's in an entirely different context not because the petitions are being tagged along here they have a right to be heard so if the people are tagged at your instance Uh, the autumn time point is yes. the, the there was a reason why they no, were the heard have been tagged at your instance yes because you didn't want it to face the music throughout the country yes. that's all uh, there is there is no, very no, very, no, important no, reason, no, very important no, reason very important reason but i was there not therefore i can say not face the music but the, the idea was there were conflicting orders being passed that's interim right. orders being passed therefore we say that this is an pan india issue let the supreme court take it that was the issue. It it the a matter of moment at that point of time. That was the order that being passed. So I come back to those about the eleven questions, the nine questions. I in my very humble submission, many of them are academic. I repeat that statement. If you look at this question, what's the scope of judicial review in matters relating to fiscal and economic policy? I mean, one more chapter to be added by the court in in a matter like this. And then again, the next question. Whether a petition filed by a political party and the issue raised is maintained by Article 32, does it have any connection with this issue? Therefore, these issues probably are absolutely irrelevant to, to this point of time. Mr. So maybe, Mr. maybe. Mr. Attorney General, yeah. no, no. What uh, you know? What uh, at least we are thinking is now the act is in force. Yes. The notification is still in force. Yes. The notification issued under Section 24, right? Right. No, right. The, the act is taken over. 26 is operated already. Yes. What is the correct? Method? No, no. Operated means it has come to an end, is it? Whether it is time bound, uh, the notification. Yes. Sir. No, no. Was it for a specified period? Because we learned yes. certain consequence follows on 31st of December. No, no, no. That consequence is already. That was. Therefore, it has worked itself out. Maybe we have to examine. We may have to occupy the field. Oh. you have to examine mr attorney general uh, by then by then i would probably advise the court that a limited threshold examination of what would be if at all if at all the court may have to go further in this i thought a limited threshold examination what is the prayer for the expedition your lordship please what is the prayer sort in at least in the set aside the notification exactly that's right that notification that today for today e- even if we set aside the notification the act is the act is in force So you you therefore you can't you can't have a that's why it's an academic declaration. Mm-hmm. No, in some of the petitions, the act has also been challenged. Uh, yes. Act has been challenged. Twenty like four and twenty six. So it won't become academic in that sense. And above all, we can only say academic or infractuous. Both, both sides agree. But if they if there is a point and a counterpoint, even to say whether it is infractuous, whether it is. I quite see that. I quite see that. I quite see that. I see that. But only the concern is before before. Going into the larger canvas, which persuaded the government to enter into this very important exercise. I mean, to to lay down for the court all those very important considerations taken by the government. 
And it certainly that was the thought that, that the that earlier denotification, though, if I am right, it is 78, is it, or 76? No, that was an nice thought. Examined in which year? 92, is it? 96. We are, we are, the, the, the distinction between the 1978 uh, Act and what's happening today is a very important distinction. A large number of developments in economic policy, banking policy, globalization, and impact of monetary policies across the globe. There is a large number of issues, corruption, black money, whole number of issues being taken into consideration by the government. Therefore, my only con concern is to what extent the court will enter into all these, all these kind of things. And of course, we can decide only after hearing, after hearing both of you. We, this is, uh, we are not able to make up our mind right now, you know. I understand. Uh, we are only trying we are to not the consent of the no, That argument is always available to you. What is the scope of our judicial review? But, but what, uh, what are the limitations? Uh, so while examining the their submissions, you will always be guided by those I am not resisting that at all. I am not saying that at all. Yeah. But I am only saying that the, I only, my concern is the moment you lost to get into any one of the issues, then there are further issues which keep cropping up. Therefore, I was trying to look at the issues. How many of them are academic today? Will the court go into all those issues at all? Probably that's why I said let's have a, some threshold no, no. more issues. How, how, how can you say that? Like to go in. No, how can you say that? Uh, issue number seven is only academic. No, it's not academic. What is the scope of judicial review in matters relating to? There are there are any number of lawsuits pronouncements on that. So therefore, any number of them. Therefore, Even going back to the lawsuit. Therefore, in order to answer that issue, we'll have to hear and give our answer to it and say whether it is academic or whether it is not academic or whether it is beyond the scope of judicial review. See, the, the point is, as I already said, the government policy, the wisdom of the government is one aspect of the matter. We all always know where the Lakshman Rekha is. But the manner in which it is done, yes. the procedure is something which can be examined and an answer can be given. But for that, it is necessary to hear the council, learned council. Exactly. So there is yes. no resistance to that at all. Yes. I'm only repeating my concern that even the manner part of it, the procedural part of it. If the court may have to say, yes, the procedure was absolutely, you know, inappropriate, ill advice. Unless they want to file something more comprehensive. Yes, who appears for the union? You, 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 you your pleadings are complete. Can we take that pleadings are complete in this case? I, I may have to apply huh? my idea. As far as I'm told, there are two counts. There may be some factual are, problems also in some of the cases. Yeah, I'll take stock of all of them. If huh? we will try to respond to whatever yeah. whatever is minimally required, I'll try to come back. I don't want to open up. <laughs> there, are, there, there is not even notice mm -hmm. in the new series of matters which came after the, uh, after the legislation. They were just stacked. Now this, as far as oh, your like notice this, has not been issued, not even noticed. So that is the latter uh, uh, set that, of cases. Yes, that first right. set notice was issued. Yes, so the orders were passed by. Uh, but the, the most process. important is after that legislation, no notice should have been issued because and the virus must have been challenged. No, the great argument about file line. This is were issued. Uh -huh. Then okay. we were told that no, no more writs are being closed and file intervention applications. So the, it's a, uh, if whatever is to be served, we will serve serve on them. Obviously, when this court is saying don't file anyone, first they said five writs here. The intervention application itself is some uh, 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 yes, we have writ filed. Petition. No, 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 that's that's right. right. Well, if they wish to file a more comprehensive affidavit, I have no objection. But uh, absent such an affidavit, I'm taking these two other two pleadings. Oh. Yes, you have to. Uh, I think somebody should take serious note of this from your side. Should should do do that. That. I will do uh, Because there are whole range of impediment applications. That's all right, because this court asked them not to file the writs, uh, filed uh, intervention application. That itself is a pleading in a way. But but uh, I, I don't find any pleadings which I think except in one or two cases, the pleadings seem to be more or less the same. I need to look at those cases where the pleadings are distinct. Somebody should sit and sort out all these things from your side. Uh, let me try to get a feel on my feet. Mm -hmm. matter. <laughs> and, 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 it's a fact, it's a one fact one. that Pilar, matters were tacked without notification. Well, uh, regardless of the matters, that matters, 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 then on the matters, matters on which notice was issued, oh. let my learned friends reflect and tell your lordships, these are the two pleadings or we are going to file one more affidavit. I have no objection. If they want to file a affidavit, the argument. All, all cases put to, we will direct notice right now. There is that's not a problem. 
at least in one case both of you rbi and government should file a comprehensive yeah. you know we will we will we will, we will do that. treat it we as a pleading in all cases we will, we will take it as a counter in all we will do that we will do that